start to think of you again It brings tears to my heart And all the memories that I have Welcome to Model Sex Magazine right Compact One This week we have Jessica Brown and Sankai Juko and Death Metal First up this week is Jessica Bannon, Irish fashion designer. Have you always been interested in, in design? Did you draw when you were uh, growing up? Yeah, I used to take tea towels from the tea towel drawer and I used to just cut them up and put them on my teddy. And I think I must have been around like five or six when I was doing that. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> and then I got... Um, little punk teddies are little very yeah. <laughs> fashionable. Like really badly sewn. I would just cut out a section and like safety pin it or just get a, a tread and needle and just sew it on really badly. And then oh, my mom would be like, where's my dish towel gone? <laughs> brilliant. But um, yeah, I used that's to do that good. a lot. And then yep. just get... I, I got a mannequin before. I didn't have a sewing machine at this stage. Like when but it came to college time, I didn't even know how to turn on a sewing machine or operate it. But when I was... I think 16 or 17 in school I did a competition called Junkature and that was all about using recyclable material to make fashion and at, before I did that I made a dress out of actually for the competition out of cans so I was I cut up so many triangle pieces and stuck it onto a dress That's and um, yeah it was really fun I did it in yeah. my bedroom I got all did the cans. You, did you do that by yourself or did you do it with a, a few classmates or whatever? I just did it all by myself. Incredible yeah. and you made what did you design a dress? Yeah, I called it alley wear because I didn't read the proper terms and conditions, but when you had a dress, you had to have a reason behind the dress. And I was like, the mo- what I have accessible to me is aluminium cans from my mom and dad's drinking on the weekends, and like just like, <laughs> just like having That's a chill so even. Brilliant. That is so, <laughs> so brilliant. It, it took a while, like it, it took a while to accumulate all these cans, and I cut them out into squares or um, triangles. You are, you are a rock star. You are a rock star. I could see it in my I fingers. Really, I really. You must have been cut to pieces. Edward yeah. Scissorhands. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So a lot of the times I'll just I'll get a basic pattern that I'm working on, and then I have this like really cool fabric that I have, and then I'll start to to make it, and just by making that in that basic pattern. I find that I get more ideas working that way rather than just sit down and think of a design. I feel like it's easier for me just to actually do it. And along the way, yeah. I get more ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, for myself as well, just personally my own style, I love two pieces that much because it takes away from how do I think of an outfit because it's already two things that match each other. So I think for designs that I make, if you were to buy a two-piece that match itself, at least you can take both of them away and have like a different outfit. They can be separate. Thing. Yeah. They can be separate. Um, I have the impression that your designs are both serious and at the same time playful and that they would suit a rebellious, subversive teen. And I, I really... Uh, I, and yes, at the same time then, this rebellious teen's mother and or maybe her more... Um, uh, grown up older sister um, so in, in a way there's a, a, an element of classic about your, your taste when I was in college it was kind of more so punky clothes and like really heavy patterns and black and reds and like I just feel like my style has changed a lot since then and when I'm designing now I kind of want to design I have in mind an image of a woman wearing this really pretty or whoever, um, wearing this pretty dress running through a field of daisies and flowers. And that's kind of, I don't know why I think that. And then when you did try to do your, your punky stuff, you nailed it. Because you, you kind of cut off the feminine and just went to a very bare thing. And it was like, damn it, she's great. <laughs> and I think punk as well is kind of like rough around the edges. and. Um, like with the finishings and stuff with like a pretty delicate dress you want the finishings to be perfect but then when it comes to the clothes like I'll just get it out and yeah. it's, it's a bit rough yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it kind of ties back to because I used to love street photography and just going into run down areas and taking photographs of what people might not think is easy on the eye but looking at places like that I used to love seeing the character in the place and how it used to be 
this functioning building and now it's kind of just been left to rot and I don't know what the fascination there was but even now like when I'm on the bus going through town and hear people watching and it's going through like Dublin 8 it's, there's a lot of run down buildings but when you see someone walk by that kind of place in this beautiful outfit it just it looks really cool. Thanks very much Jess. <laughs> Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> Next up is Sankai Juko, Japanese Buto dance company. Finally, Duff Nettle and the brilliant single, Architecture. The best. 
links are in the description below. All links are in the description.